Okay, this is a question um, that my student have asked me over the weekend. And I find it's a very good question. It's actually taken from one of the primary schools in Singapore, from Bedok Green Primary School, if I remember correctly. They are one of their practice paper. So I would like to go through this question in full detail. So this question is here. It says that, okay, let me adjust my... Okay, it says here that tennis rackets and badminton rackets are placed together in two separate large containers. Container A had 150 tennis rackets and one third as many badminton rackets as tennis rackets. Container B had 120 tennis rackets and one quarter as many badminton rackets as tennis rackets. After some rackets were transferred from container B to container A, two fifths of the rackets in container B was tennis rackets and the ratio of the number of tennis rackets to the number of badminton rackets in container A was four is to one. How many badminton rackets were in container A and B before the transfer. And part B, how many rackets were left in container B after the transfer? So for this kind of question, it is a typical ratio question and students need to be very careful on how they go about doing this question because you can't really use purely the ratio method to do this question. You need the model drawing as well. You need a combination of both. So, okay, let, let's come here. You, okay, you can see that the tennis and magnetic racket were placed in two large containers, A and B. So you have a container A. And container B. Container A contains 150 tennis racket. One third as many badminton racket as tennis racket. Okay, so you have 50 badminton racket. Because the badminton racket is one third as many as the tennis racket. So 150 divided by three, you have 50 badminton racket in container A. And container B has 120 tennis racket. And one quarter as badly badminton racket as tennis racket. So 120 divided by four is 30. Okay, you have 30 badminton rackets. So all together, okay, take note that for this question, the total number of rackets in A and B is a constant. In other words, the total number of tennis rackets and the total number of badminton rackets is going to be a constant. So the total tennis racket will be 150 plus 120, that is 270. And the total badminton racket is 80 for A and B combined. Okay, right now I have the total number of tennis rackets and the total number of badminton rackets. And of course, I will have the total number of rackets, that is 350. So these are all constant throughout the whole story. So the question is asking how many badminton rackets in containers A and B before the transfer? So it's 80. Okay, how many badminton rackets are there in A and B combined is 80. 80 badminton rackets. 
in A and B before any transfer happened. Okay, 80 badminton rackets. Okay, for B, they ask how many rackets were left in container B after the transfer. Okay, for this kind of question, you have to draw the model. Okay, before and after. Okay, before in container A, you have 150 tennis racket and 50 badminton rackets. Okay, B stands for badminton, T stands for tennis. Okay, so that is one third of, of the tennis racket. Okay, badminton and tennis. Then before that, your total of B is 150. Okay, your total of B is 150. And out of this 150, 120 is tennis. And one quarter, okay, so you divide by four. It's 120 tennis and 30 badminton. Okay, all together, this one combined, you have 270 tennis and 80 badminton. Okay. And after that, what, what, what happened? Okay, some rackets will transfer from B to A. So the transference, the transfer is only from B to A. So A will be longer. Okay, A will be longer. B will be shorter. Okay, make sense to you? B will be shorter. I shade this part. The shaded part refers to the same length. All right. Okay, then it says that two fifths of the rackets in B are tennis. So this one I have to divide into five. Okay, two fifths are tennis. Okay, two feet is tennis. That's two units. Two is two units. And three units is badminton. Okay. Then after that, the ratio of tennis racket to the number of vendor rackets, four is to one. <clears throat> okay, tennis, right? Okay, this is 150 tennis racket. And this is 50 badminton racket. Okay, this part, right? Let, let's call it big T and big B. Big T and big B. Okay, when big T and big B will transfer, okay, what, what, what happened is that four 
four units. Four units is tennis. So 150 plus big T is four units or four parts here. Okay, 150. 150 plus the key is four parts. Okay, four parts. Because in container A, there is four, four parts of tennis racket and 50. 50 badminton rackets plus big B, that is equal to one part. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, then back to here. Back to here, right? Two units, right? Two units is 120, 120 minus T. Okay, two units. Tennis bracket is two units. Is 120 minus T. And this one. Three units, three units, right? Is thirty, thirty badminton racket minus B. Okay. So this is equation one, equation two. Then after that, 150, 150 tennis racket plus big T is equal to four parts, right? Okay, 150 plus big T over 50 plus B is equal to 4 over 1. So P can cancel. So this is 4 over 1. Oh, Make sense? Because the number of tennis racket to the number of badminton racket is 4 is to 1. I cross multiply. 4 times 50, 200, plus 4B. Okay. Okay, then after that, okay, two unit, right, is 120 minus T. Am I right? So one unit, one unit is equal to 60 minus T over 2. That's one unit. Three units. Three, three times this, right? 180 minus 3T over 2. Multiply by 3. Because I'm trying to find three unit. One unit is this. Because two, two unit, two unit is 120 minus T, right? So one unit, I divide by two. Equation one, I divide by two. I have one unit equal to 60 divided by, sorry, 60 minus T over two. I'm dividing by two, okay? Tom, Dick, Harry, divide by two. The whole equation, I divide by two. So I have one unit is 60 minus T over two. This whole equation, I multiply by three. I have three unit equal to 180 minus 3T over two. This is three unit. Since 3 unit is 180 minus 3t over 2, and 3 unit is 30 minus b, therefore, 30 minus b 
is equal to 180 minus 3t over 2. Okay, does that make sense? The whole equation multiplied by 2. The whole equation multiplied by 2 to remove the fraction. So this one I bring over is... Mm, okay, then after that, 3t minus 2b equal to 300. 360 minus 60, because positive 60 I bring over is negative 60. 360 minus 60 is 300. Negative 3t I bring over is positive 3t. Minus 2b status quo. So I have my second equation. This is my first equation. This is my second equation. No, follow up. Okay, then this one, t is equal to 200 minus 150 is 50. Okay, 50 plus 4b is your t. So 3t will then be equal to 3 times 50, 150. 3 times 4 is 12. So 3t is 150 plus 12b. 3t, I substitute my 3t. I substitute 3t as 150 plus 12b. So 100, 150 plus 12b is my 3t minus 2b will then be 300. So this 10b equal to 250, uh, equal to 150. 150. B is equal to 15. Okay, B is equal to 15. Oh, understand, no? 12B minus 2B is 10B. 300 minus 150 is 150. 150 divided by 10 is 15. So B is 15. T is 50 plus 4B. 4, 4 times 15 is 60. 4B. So 110. So T is 110. So once you know T is 110, B is 15. How many rackets were there left? Okay, T, T plus B, T plus B is 125. Okay, 110 plus 15, 125. So 125 missing. So originally here I have 150 racket. Okay, 120 plus 30 is 150. 150 minus 125, 25. So five units is 25. Okay, five units is 25. So how many rackets were left in container B after the transfer? 25. 25 rackets. Two unit, right? So one unit is five. Two unit is 10. So you have 10 tennis racket and 15 badminton racket. Okay, that's the racket that's left in B after the transfer. So any question? If you have any question, just feel free to WhatsApp me and I'll be glad to explain further. So I hope I answer the questions for this question. So that's all for this question. Thank you. I'm teacher David. Thank you. Bye-bye.